What is up guys? We are currently in the middle of nowhere. And what does that mean? Probably means we're going to a racetrack. And we are, we're going to Sebring. This is the third and final day of the YouTuber Project Car Challenge. I've been dealing with a bunch of weird tuning related issues. But we spent all night last night playing around with things and I think we found a map that can hopefully make it through a lap without throwing a check engine code. So, fingers crossed. Last time I was at Sebring was actually for drifting. I've never driven on the full track. I've only drifted, I believe it's turn 17, the sketchy one with all the different types of surface. So I'm pretty excited to see what BMW will do. I've been told Sebring's more of a BMW style track, at least compared to Daytona. So fingers crossed. We're back. One of the annoying beauties of E85 is not knowing what you're getting at the pump. Uh, my car is running a little funny, so I just smelled some of this gas and it does not smell like E85. Unfortunately, I don't have my content tester with me, and they haven't released the software for the integration on the car's tune yet, but um, that sucks. Of course, it's like what I have like six gallons of too. I didn't completely understand what was going on on this track, and apparently it's uh, 10 hot laps, an average of those 10 laps. Shows how much I know. So, uh, heat soak, here we come. Is it gonna stay cool? These cars are notorious for overheating, but usually the cars that have the factory oil cooler do a little bit better, and mine does have the factory oil cooler. In case you don't know, the 335s that have them, you can see them right in front of the uh, right passenger side wheel, just kind of tucked in there. Will it make it? Let's find out. Gotta get better fuel though first. In the MHD software, there's actually a way that you can change the coolant target. So we can actually put it from stock mode into, into track mode. I'm guessing that probably just has the fans on more often than not. David's actually gonna hop in the car and show me the track since I don't really know it too well. Do you know Sebring in your brain at all from games or anything? No. Okay, so there's two extremely dangerous turns. It's the most dangerous track in the United States, according to Justin, so what you're gonna do is... Go as fast as I can no, and rip the e-brake. No, so at the very end, there's a wall and it's a super late apex. Oh, the, the that's the one I drift, right? The one with all the... Yeah. The well, changes? It's too bumpy. No, no, no. That, that's I think where we had the drift competition. Turn 17. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, where so we. You've been here. Yeah, I just I want a drift comp here. 90 degree in this little access road looking thing. Okay. Now go wide. Then cut right here. Go towards the rumbles. Towards here. Now slow down. Go a little bit wide right here. Cut now uh, over this. You can go a little bit tighter next time. Go straight. Break. And then you're gonna kind of coast through an apex right here. Keep your head up, look this way. Yep, straight. Now go a little bit wide right here. Now cut in, go super wide, kind of clip the outside of the track, 90 degree, and then go into it main straight. So this is your high speed straight. And then in the suit, don't go too hard at the end. So open it up a little bit. Car feels good. Yep, very good. Okay. This, yeah, like this, straight, straight, uh -huh. straight, straight, and start going right here. This way, straight, and now start cornering. It's not perfect, but that's the safest way to do it. Now open up, that, and that's your straightaway. Got it. Thank you. No problem. Right, we're gonna have some fun without David now. See the car corners, see how it feels and everything. I haven't really gotten to feel how it feels in the dry yet. Wow, these brakes. Oh, it feels good. The car likes this track a lot. Definitely didn't need to go in a second there. <laughs> It's like in the tune too. Whoops.
feels so good. I haven't even really heard the tires start squealing yet. Wow, it turns in so nice. That's good, we're under searing, not over searing. This car feels good. Oh, shifter just pulled off. That was sketchy. Coolant temps look good. That's a good sign. Oil temps aren't too hot. They're about 250, which is normal. Dang, that's sick. Even though it's a pro driver lap, that's gonna count. I'm just gonna try to set a good lap for the heck of it. I played with the suspension a little bit. So I'm trying to see if it still understeers like it was doing before. Feels a little bit better. blown away by how this car has been performing at Sebring. This is where I'm really feeling a difference from the upgraded brakes and all the M3 suspension stuff because the car is so planted, brakes so well, no brake fade. Turning is amazing. The amount of grip with the Sport Cup 2s is sick. Like, I am very, very, very surprised. It sounds bad that I'd be surprised by it, but like I did not expect that this would handle so well. Like this car would now eat the GT350 alive on the track. It's a monster. It's a monster, you are. Fun. I had my first little issue, if you even want to call it that. Uh, basically, my under trays were flapping around underneath the car. Um, kind of like drifting, stuff likes to fly for your car, except it's a little bit different when you're going 140 plus miles an hour. So, to be a little bit extra safe, I would normally just use zip ties to tie it up, but uh, this time, we're using metal zip ties. <laughs> Alright, so today we got the professional driver who goes by the name of Justin Bell. What do you, what do you think about this? Well, I'm actually excited because everything else has been a little extraordinary. Well, don't jinx me. Uh-huh. <laughs> this, this, this looks like the thing I'm most confident in. And you were hustling it around here, so uh, you did a good lap time. Thank you. So it means, uh, means at least I'm going to have fun and hopefully not catch on fire. Hopefully not have 1,300 horsepower burn me in the arse. Basically, other than that, I'm, I've got high hopes. <laughs> what do you think it'll run? If I, if I was able to do a 119, what do you think you could do? Uh, I'm going to blame it on something else if I don't meet you. <laughs> I'm already thinking of what excuses I can come up with. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good luck. The only somewhat tricky thing is my car does start to get hot after two laps. The oil temps get up there and it kind of like starts to go into limp mode. You can fix that with an extra oil cooler. I just obviously didn't do that in advance. So the way that he's going to do it, since it has to be 10 laps within 20 minutes, I think he's going to do two laps, then kind of cool down, do another two laps or whatever. and. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it does. Have fun! Everyone keeps scaring me, telling me that he's three for three, breaking all the cars. <laughs> Trying to jinx me. He broke the Audi. He broke, uh, what all he breaking? Corvette. He shut the vet down. He broke the David's car. 
He broke David's. You know, he's, he's going cool on David. you right now because he's, he's well behind his Yeah, that's what I figured. This is about the cooldown time. Bumping the turbo thing, the what happened? Every time it gets about 250, right, it just shuts the power down a bit. Oh, okay, is it is it still hot right now? Yeah, I, I drove that last half. I went slow. Okay, um, but it's so good. You like it? Right, just a ton of understeer. Yeah. I, and I that lap, I tried to go fast on that last lap. I just I messed up so badly with the understeer. Today. Yeah. I was like, oh no. I tried to dial it out by like softening the dampening a little bit yeah. in the front and lowering the pressure, but. Yeah, no, I just made a mistake on that last lap because I was so excited to have a proper go at it. Um, the car's really nice. I mean, Thanks. he's done a beautiful job. I, mean, I appreciate it. Lot. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned and watch Rob's final video to see who won. But it, I, I will let you guys know it came down very close to it me, close. Rob's car, and Cletus. So it was exciting. Thank you a lot for having me, man. No problem. Definitely. Fun. Much appreciated. Yeah. Your car did very well. I was very impressed by that. It was... Uh, it's probably the the plainest looking car out here. It's the sleeper of the bunch, other than maybe the minivan, but the shoot gives that away. But uh, we had a good time. At the end of the day, thank you for coming out. I'm glad you had a good time. Of course, man. Thank you for putting something like this on. Uh, I definitely think having the brakes and the suspension stuff helped my car to an advantage. Is that my car driving? Oh, oh yeah, look, look at that. Go <laughs> look at that. The whip right I, there. I was just talking about you. <laughs> Okay, that works. Stay tuned. I'll put the link to the final video in the description. When can they expect Got it? It. Uh, it should be around the first week of February. So first, second, and third. Okay, cool. Enjoy. Stay tuned, guys, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, this, this is a hidden bonus clip. You said I'm the first person that's ever driven this? Well, besides like Cooper and me. Okay, I feel honored. Careful with my bag. Okay, uh, is there anything I need to know? Just the clutch is rowdy as hell. Okay. Don't feel bad if you stall. All right, I'm not gonna stall. All right, we got this. He's gonna film me. He's gonna think I'm gonna stall. No, I don't think you will. It sounds like you have stereo sound coming out both ears. Full throttle. I literally can't see anything. Johnny, I have a question for you. If we if we do some victory burnouts and donuts, can we get replacements? Because these tires are rad and I kinda wanna have more. Maybe. Oh, that's putting them on the spot right there. I know. I won't include it if you say no. Shoot me a text. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll do half burnouts. Little, little burnouts. <laughs> little burnouts. We gotta do it. <laughs> Unlike the other day, we actually have permission to do some donuts at this place, courtesy of Sebring. Thank you, Sebring, for being cool. They let drifting happen here, too, if you don't remember. I actually won the uh, drifting competition that they had over on, I think it's turn 16, maybe, something like that. But anyway, uh, before I forget, I also want to give a massive shout out to everyone who made this car possible to be running and working as well as it does on time. That would be Motive for helping me out with a single turbo kit and getting the tuning all sorted. 
didn't throw a single check engine code. The car ran really, really well, even though it was only at wastegate spring pressure. We'll get that worked out in the future. Huge thank you to PSI for helping me get the car sorted, pulling all nighters with me and all that stuff. BC Racing for helping me get the suspension stuff figured out. BC Forge for the dope loaner wheels that I could put the Michelin tires on. Shout out to Michelin, shout out to Odyssey Batteries, shout out to Strike Force Energy, and of course, Rob from Super Speeders for putting such an awesome event on. Oh boy, it's about to get lit. It may look like I'm the only one filming this, but don't be worried, there's a lot of people. <laughs> He's still going. Covered in bird out smoke. Poor tires. <laughs> He's still going. How haven't they popped yet? <laughs> Can the minivan keep up? It's not fair, they've got so much less tire. I mean, Leroy won that one, we'll, we'll, we'll be honest. That was all the way down, U-turn, come on, bringing it back. But not bad for a minivan. I would want to do it as well with my car, but I kind of want to make the tires last, I'm just going to do a donut. <laughs> Adam, you got to do something. I'll, I'll do a donut, like, like I'll do some hefty donuts. <laughs> Definitely didn't like that uh, didn't those like tires were too grippy. <laughs> I need to know this though. That super tiny donut compared to those burnouts. How am I already on cords? I got a two hour drive home now on cords. Really? That's cords? Yeah. Where's the, where's the Michelin man out where I need him? Oh boy. Second to fifth, second to fifth, Booster Boys out here. 